I want to see the Alliance men. So Chelbet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quadford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
Aid me. Be my eyes. No need. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Deolov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Don't fret until you have taken up the Elderman's title. Too many things can go wrong between now and then. My father thinks me fit already. I shouldn't want to disappoint him. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. He parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. <laughs> Our Bishop Deolov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls. The Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Deolav, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made.
Captain Anir, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Deorlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. I hear that that's a muller from Rumberg. Brother Ansar, I can't get it out. Ne hide that ye lamp them in the mast and cruise them. The thieves are so You are wasting time! These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriat is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. He sent us some God's spell in time. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Ivar. Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver... You do that. I'm waiting! Now you dangle silver before me! Uh, you so I am, and a bruised poor out. My brother loves me well. What if at the crown? I make no pr and knock a rotary. If you I will see about now. You dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. I do not like, lady. Let us get the road. If ever if such a I do not like the way this looks. Ah, enough of this nonsense! 
Ivor! Ba Damn your artist! I am bored to death here! Silver! Good! I can bludgeon Rodri to death with how heavy a bag I have. You are with Rodri, yeah? I am that. So he can sell pieces of sack. You? I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I... I have yet to see Ivar look calm. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eva, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! You win can't it. win this! Viking or diplomacy? Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Give me a hand over here!
carnage. We must let Bishop Dale out know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Eva. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will crave them. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlocan outpost, down south of Quatford. I came across Wenlocan earlier. I've taken that Kaku already. Well done, Dranger. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then. Once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. We will drag Rotary back to the peace table soon enough. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. And thank you.
Show me what lies ahead. See, Sunan. Shia needs you.
Guide me. See you, old friend.
Ryan Wenlow can. That should shake Rugby to his senses. Now to Westbury, before Eva causes more problems.
Chelbert. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Anir is the Briton's best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah! I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. Bloody kindling it is. We will smash this place to splinters. Come, Jailbert! The fight is on! Let the Saxon villagers flee, Ivar. Only the Britons deserve our wrath. Thor thunders beside us! If they see me, this will get messy. I'll fill your brain! I swear it!
themselves here. Did you see Chailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chailbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding Puspit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? 
Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. Eivor, the silver you gave me in Quatpo, I traded it for a gold ring. At least the silver gave you happiness. It bought me none. The ring is from the Levant, inscribed with a prayer to some god. What is their Valhalla like, I wonder? Look at all those delicious fish. to shore. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But, then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings! We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chael Bert fight! He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor! Look where we landed! Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups! We set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed, and it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. 
Bishop, we must prepare for Rotary's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. What do you see? Where in Hellheimer has Tailbat gone to? Someone here must know. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbat? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. I'm looking for Jailbat. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. And he calls me a big nose. Have you seen Jailbat? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Ardaling. Ask another.
Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Tailbat? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Tailbelt? Tail... <coughs> Belt? Did none of you see Tailbelt? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. How long before he's... A few hours should do it. Unless you find another way to rouse him. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. What are you doing? I am looking for Chailbelt, and you know where he is. Yours is a piss poor way of looking. Just tell me where he is, unless you want more. If you must know, the little brat went off hunting boar some time ago. Yes, I know. But where was he hunting? He went south. That's all I know. Probably followed the stream here, south to the forest. That's enough to go on. Thank you.
asked about this lamp, my friend. Bow dropped. Tears of Rhea. Uh, 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 Tailbat, you live. I... I uh, Stay quiet. Uh, You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods, the Briton crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. Get you to the others. I'll go easy. Here, faster this way. Just breathe, Gilbert. We'll soon be there.
by the hand of Thor. What happened? No! No! You foolish boy! What did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar... Easy, boy! Easy! E... Ivar... Get me an axe! Right fucking now! Ivar... He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go, dear God, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. We were fools. An Aetherling was entrusted to us in time of war. We did not protect him. I taught him to protect himself! Not well enough. This was stuck in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs! You must move fast, then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kissed. You spared that wet turd Leofrid. We will not spare Rodri! I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered? May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Sent the boy's body to his father, who won the Christian burial. Lady Young Harrod said Rotary is holed up in Calsto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. By the way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. Good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rotary to me. Is that the other? There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rotary's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. No! Quartford, you told me Rotary gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. <laughs> Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating, put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and... Sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. 
We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my voice a hand. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons are clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hand shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. The son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived the saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crowfood! and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man playing at serpents. 
Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotri, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread.
Ivar the Boneless. <laughs> you make a pitiful dragon. <laughs> I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else. You have won, Ivar. And if you will not kill him now, then let him go. Humiliation will chase him to the end of his days. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come! All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor! Do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rodri. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. What are you doing? Oh.
<laughs> How are you doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, oh. and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Look, such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Ro Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton no. and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. Wonders off. Haul him up there to the top and keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> that is a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But now, that is a song for the ages. <laughs> The fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death, you and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell! 
You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then... nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! Above the world, Valhalla awaits. Bleed like jailbird. Ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Gold again! Thor lends me strength. So close to death. So cold is my heart. Where are the winged maidens? Valkyries approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Uh, do not shame him. Uh, I hear... I hear their wings. Carry the body to Quadford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead.
Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar <sighs> gone. Shirapshire an ally. I should confer with Randri.
This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis far away. We are allied with Shirapshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me, and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now, and end the life of Gorham Kjotvison where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. ago at a desert oasis far away a place of myth good day Eivor good day to you stranger Nessa is it I'm Eivor Randri said you would be my guide that is right passage to across the seas to Saint Brenton's land is that right Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. Say the word and we are off. I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now.
Three cold weeks in the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorum Kjotvison. The son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I had better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us? You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildi! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, his ass, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorham is. Grab a shovel from Gorm's storehouse? No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. He beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaver stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. Got him storehouse. A good Someone picked the lock and got away. I was hauled off. Let's be a trail. Someone broke through here, made quite a mess. Could be Olaf went this way. Give 
vermissat als wezen. This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. seen such a place. Quiet, and not a stone building in sight. Y'all no wonder they he gonna give a room with. Well, on a camera, I think I hear where they're not going to go with them. Oh, what? Those two carry themselves like leaders. It is worth a try. Friends, do you, do, do we understand one another? Oya ganyatara ke heronu, joknohoda tigade igerungwe. Do any of you speak Norse or Saxon? Zatsadegwat gigerungwe, yate tsidewayanderi, yate yungwe herize onanzini toditni gohra di hantos ne gaa. Giga Ozidaa, Wahuna Daro ne Gigarungwe, Tigade na ne. This is Sunin. Her name means insight. Yanja Dahoe Giga, Zinue Oya Ganyatara Keronu Itres, Danu Ahinasku. Ahoya Dagenha, Doga Ahuna Darohage Giga. Sunin, you made us some friends. These hearts and calves. Am I in Midgard still? Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatara keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Gods. Never have I seen such a place. There is a language I know well, but the words are mind sick. Then I threw my eye into the well. This is wisdom. Sounds like the ending of the seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And 
where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Trengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor, and Gorm owes me a great debt. Let us leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away. Far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching. And never finding. The mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, would you tell me something? <laughs>